<laughs> hey! Happy Saturday! Uh, the weather is cooperating today. So we are headed out for our eight mile. Ooh, stop. Go. Our, <laughs> our eight mile run today. And uh, we're going to grab some footage. We're going to talk as much as we can on the run. It is super windy today. So I don't know how much of it will be audible at all. But we'll catch up with you on our way back if nothing else. Here we go. Eight miles. Here we come. So they're filming uh, something for HBO locally. So we happened to, didn't know, we happened to run into some of the uh, stuff. It's nice to be out, away from the neighborhood. Yeah, especially for a longer mileage day. Yeah, and the weather is nice. It's pretty windy, but it's not too bad, so. It's overcast, like 65 degrees. Yeah, so far so good. For one mile in. <laughs> oh, really? Oh. Yeah. But she hadn't said that. Slightly more than one mile in. <laughs> oh, okay, that's bad. We are two miles in. Yay. Hi. Still chugging along. You know, we've been doing our physical therapy exercises and stretches. How do you feel? Um, I think I feel stronger, but we're on mile two. So yeah. we'll see in a few more miles. Yeah. Um, like a dumbass, I forgot to put my knee braces on this morning. Yeah. Uh, but I'm feeling okay. It's not terrible. It's not as bad as usual. So, all right. Six more to go. Halfway point.
seven nine nine almost eight miles. Oh. No. No way. Eight miles in the books, yay. We'll have a quick recap. <laughs> All right, we are back in the car, uh, getting ready to go back home after running eight miles. So to just catch up a little bit from last week, um, on our last update, we mentioned that the weather was abysmal and that we were um, skipping slash postponing. God, this traffic is nuts. Skipping or uh, postponing our six and a half mile run that we had scheduled for last Saturday. We ended up actually on Monday heading out for, there we go. Sorry, this, we're at our little local park and there's like a lot of traffic right now and that never happens. We think it's because of the filming that we mentioned a little while ago. Um, so what was I saying? We were, we were supposed to run six miles. Six and a half miles last week. We didn't. So we set out on Monday morning to run six and a half miles around our neighborhood. I, I mapped out like a 3.25 mile um, route. And that date did not look good. Uh, we were planning to run it twice. And we made it, I don't know, a little over halfway through. And then my, um, <laughs> my butt started hurting. So my glutes started hurting quite a bit. And uh, we ended up going about, like about five miles, a little less than five miles. Uh -huh. So good, not great. You know, we, we went running, we went running about as far as we did the week before, but we didn't make it the full six and a half. Mm -hmm. So today we're like, okay, we really need to run our eight miles. And so we came to the park and we ran eight miles. Yeah. It took us a while, yeah. about an hour and 45 minutes, uh -huh. a little bit longer than I think we expected. I was, I was anticipating like, an hour and a half. It's a little longer than usual. Um, but we did it and it is uh, warm. I don't know, you see this uh, 77 raspberry over there. here? Yeah, it's it's warm and muggy. Thankfully, the sun didn't stick around. It peaked out for a little bit and we were like, kind of, oh, um, kind of worried about it, but um, it ended up not not being out for too long, which was good because we didn't bring sunglasses, we didn't bring hats because it was supposed to be overcast all day long. Yeah. So, um, what other big, oh, here's our, here's our actual big news. So yes, we ran eight miles. That's the furthest we've run since marathon. We're very happy to cross that milestone because yeah. we're going to half marathon in three weeks. Yeah. Um, the big thing is that we, we've been kind of curious when we would really feel the effects of our physical therapy. Um, you know, David's only been going, I think you've had like three sessions now or two, uh, three, three sessions. So he's still like pretty new in it, but I've been going for a few weeks. I'm sorry. Hang on. Oh, oh. oh my arm, my arm's <laughs> killing me. Um, so, uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so we were wondering, you know, at what mileage point are we going to feel a difference um and i think we can say we definitely felt it today yeah so uh at like three miles in or so we were, it was still pretty early in the run i was like you know i think i feel my like hips working um so less of leg propelling us and more of like hip and core and glutes and stuff like that and i'm like okay that's that's pretty cool um and this was actually the coolest part so we did you know take a few walk breaks you know We'd stop at water fountains. We'd get a bite to eat, you know, take a, a handful of uh, jelly bellies. And normally, what happens when we get to a certain, like, let's say past past three or four miles, if we stop and take a walk, starting running back up again feels awful yeah. for both of us. Yeah. It's just like it hurts. It hurts. Our knees are just like revolting against us. It's like our legs are going to fall out of the sockets, right? It just it's uncomfortable. So um, what we found today was that when we walked, um, we, we kind of found ourselves just out of habit dreading starting running back up again, but we did it a few times and yeah. it's like, uh, I didn't really feel anything. Yeah, it, was, it, it didn't hurt. It didn't hurt that much. Yeah. I mean, it didn't. It, it, I mean, it was like, oh, we're, cool. we're, we're just gonna, yeah. we're just gonna move again. That's great. Yeah. So 
That is fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. David forgot to wear his knee braces today. How do your knees feel? Dumbass. Um, you know, they don't hurt as much, and that's like totally awesome. For eight miles, uh, for mm -hmm. me to say they don't hurt that much, mm -hmm. that's that's pretty good. So I'm, I'm, ex I'm excited. Yeah, I'm so excited. he's he's gonna take a lot of ibuprofen when we get back home, just uh, <laughs> to be on the safe side. But I think we're uh, we're doing okay. Wash so it, wash it down with beer. <laughs> Hooray for physical therapy! Yeah, yeah. So uh, somebody's at the ATM. Yeah, cool. So well, here's here's a little hometown mystery for for you all. We'll share it with you. Um, I don't know when the last time any any of our viewers used an ATM. Um, I think the last time I used one was probably when we were in Europe and we needed to get some cash. Oh yeah. Right. Um, yeah. 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 Well, we went to a couple. I think we would have probably. Anyway, ATMs are not really something. I mean, we live in a cashless society for the most part. You know. I can't said... remember the last time I actually saw a five dollar bill. Anyway. Anyway, there's an ATM machine. And excuse me, ATM, automatic teller machine. Oh yeah, right. Uh, in our town. See, we, we don't even know how to use proper lingo. <laughs> and we've, li we've lived here for, uh, what, five, six years? Yeah. Five, five, over five years. Yeah. There is always somebody at that ATM. Always. And there is usually a line for the ATM. Who uses an ATM? And it's a, it's a, like, bank-specific one, too. Like, yeah. you're only using that one if you're a customer of that bank. And I'm just, like, <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah, what let, is going hey, on hey, let, all through the pandemic? Nobody's doing anything. Let us know. Everything's shut down <laughs> and people are in line at the ATM. Let us know in the comments if you use an ATM. And if you do, how do they work? I don't even remember. <laughs> Have they made any significant updates in the last 20 years since the last time I used one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that's our update, I yeah. think. Is there anything else we need to add? No, that's, that's about it. it. So next week we run even further because we're getting really close to the half marathon. So... Come on, PT. Yep. Let us know how you're doing. Always great to hear from you. Man, there's a lot of traffic today. You know what? Oof. It is always an adventure <laughs> with you.